hello friends today we will show you how you can derive the equation for inverse kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot so before that we already familiar that the exactly difference between forward kinematics or inverse kinematics or what are the different given parameters in forward kinematics and inverse kinematics separately so forward kinematics is the process to get coordinates of end effectors from given angle of the all joints and inverse kinematics or reverse transformation inverse kinematics is the process to get all joint angles from the given coordinates so both are the opposite methods or are opposite transformation or kinematics to each other means in forward kinematics uh, joint angles are given and you have to find out word space or Cartesian space coordinate and in inverse kinematics uh, all Cartesian coordinates are given and you have to find out joint angle this is the basic difference between forward kinematics and inverse kinematics so we will continue or uh, in this video we will show you how you can directly derive the, the inverse kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot so this is the line diagram of two degrees of freedom robot this is the link number first link number second l1 is the length of link number first l2 is the length of link number second this is the joint number first joint number second so in forward kinematics these four parameters are given means l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 and these are the four given quantities or given parameters and you have to find out unknown position p x comma y and in a reverse manner or inverse manner in inverse kinematics these are the given points or cartesian coordinates are given means x and y coordinates are given and l1 l2 these are the given parameters and you have to find out theta 1 and theta 2 respectively so before start the derivation we know that the values of x and y coordinates or cartesian space coordinates in forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot okay or how you can derive the forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot or x component and y component separately so x component x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and for y component y is equal to l1 sin theta 1 plus l2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2 uh, so these are the two desired locations or positions in forward kinematics of two degrees of freedom robot we already discussed the derivation for these two positions or two cartesian space positions in the previous lecture so another thing is that the equation or forward kinematics equation so in that equation means first equation x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 you have to separate cos theta 1 plus theta 2 means this bracket cos theta 1 plus theta 2 so we already know the formula for cos a plus b or cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and similarly for sin a plus b or sin theta 1 plus theta 2 uh, you have to directly consider this formula sin a plus b sin a cos b plus sin a cos a so you can directly separate or we can rewrite the both equation by using the trigonometric identities these two trigonometric identities uh, we have this equation x is equal to l1 cos theta 1 plus l2 cos theta 1 theta 1 into cos theta 2 minus l2 sin theta 1 into theta 2 means uh, you have to separate these two entities l1 cos theta 1 as it is and l2 cos l2 as it is and cos theta 1 plus theta 2 okay means you have to separate this equation or elaborate this equation cos theta 1 plus theta 2 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 this equation and for second equation or for y component l1 sin theta 1 as it is plus l2 
as it is equal to sin sin theta 1 plus theta 2 you have to elaborate okay means sin a plus b you have to use this formula sin a plus b sin a cos b plus sin a sin b cos a so this is the simply answer or we can rewrite the both equation by using trigonometric identities the next step is that squaring both sides and adding both equations these two equation means squaring both sides and adding two equation uh, we have what we have we have cos theta 2 or angle cos theta 2 is equal to x square plus y square minus l1 square minus l2 square upon 2 into l1 into l2 this is the final equation for theta 2 or theta 2 is equal to cos inverse of x square plus y square minus l1 square minus l2 square upon 2 into l1 into l2 this is the equation number 3 so this equation by using this equation you can directly find out angle theta 2 means this angle theta 2 the next using trigonometric identity so uh, all are familiar with this trigonometric identity tan a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a into tan b so use this trigonometric identity you can easily solve uh, for angle theta 1 so we get the another angle tan theta 1 is equal to tan a minus tan b means y into l1 plus l2 cos theta 2 x into l2 sin theta 2 upon x into l1 plus l2 cos theta 2 plus y l2 into sin theta 2 so these are the two equations or you can directly find out angle theta 1 theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of answer means tan inverse of y into l1 plus l2 cos theta 2 minus x into l2 sin theta 2 upon x into l1 plus l2 cos theta 2 plus y into l2 sin theta 2 means theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of answer so by using this two equation means cos theta 2 and tan theta 1 means theta 2 is equal to cos inverse of answer and theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of answer by using these two equation you can easily find out angle theta 2 and angle theta 1 means joint variables or angle positions theta 1 is the angle between axis of link number first and horizontal plane and theta 2 is the angle between link of or axis of link number first and axis of link number second so this is the formula for find out theta 2 angle theta 2 equals equal to cos inverse of answer and theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of answer by using these two equations you can easily find out the unknown angles of two links or respective links so forward and inverse kinematics are the methods to calculate coordinates of the end effector and joint angular respectively and uh, the, the exactly difference between forward and inverse kinematics forward kinematics is the process to get the coordinates of all end effectors from the given angle of all joints and in case of inverse kinematics means uh, this inverse kinematics inverse kinematics is the process to get all joint angles means theta 1 and theta 2 from the given coordinates means given position or given Cartesian space coordinates so in case of uh, inverse kinematics problem x and y coordinates means Cartesian space coordinates are given and you have to find out the angle theta 1 and theta 2 okay so what are the different given parameters in case of inverse kinematics problem l1 l2 means l1 is the length of link number first and l2 is the length of link number second these are the two given parameters then unknown position of end effector p x comma y means Cartesian space coordinate is given means these are the four given parameters and you have to find out theta 1 and theta 2 by using this equation for find out for finding theta 2 you have to use this equation theta 2 is equal to cos inverse of answer and for find find out the theta 1 angle theta 1 theta 1 is the angle made by axis of link number first and horizontal distance theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of answer so these are the two equations 
by using these two equation you can easily find out the unknown angles between two respective links